So in this video I'm going to be doing a live model. We're going to do a cut and colour, going to do a full foil and the toner we're going to be using today is the 10BV by Paul Mitchell that just came out this year. So for this full foil I'm going to start at the very front. So I'm going to take my very first section straight down the middle. So the part line is going to fall in the middle of this section. So you can see right here my section is about the width of a foil because I'm going to be doing thin slices all the way down the middle so she can part it on either side and you're still going to see the same amount of colour. So it's very important that that part line ends up in the middle of this section. So very thin sections, nice and fine. I'm going to be doing a lot of foils but we're doing just thin slices all the way through here. So after getting done with the front, I move on to the back. Now I start at the very bottom and I work my way up directly up the back, just like I did the front section. Just making sure we're doing thin slices and I'm working all the way up. So after letting that process for about 20-25 minutes, make sure it's nice and blonde, I go ahead and I tone it with the 10BV Demi Permanent by Paul Mitchell. So now with Susan's hair, we're actually trying to grow her hair out a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim it up. I'm not going to do anything too dramatic, just going to take off the dead ends, make sure it's nice and clean. So whenever we trim someone's hair, it's basically going through the same haircut or the same steps, but we're really just taking off those ends. So when you run a comb through it, you're not catching it, you're not catching the knots at the end, getting rid of any split ends that we may see. So by starting, I'm just going to go ahead and take that bottom section, just clean that line up just a little bit. Now, because we are just cleaning this up and we are trimming it, I still want to make sure the layers connect. So, typically when I connect the bottom to the top, I just take that layer and I take it straight out at 90 degrees. You can see zero elevation from the top, but coming out 90 from the middle. And all I'm doing is cleaning that up here, just getting rid of those split ends, making sure we've got a nice shape that we can grow out longer. Now, because all I'm doing is connecting the bottom to the top, you can see here I'm just taking that corner off, taking the dead ends off. So again, working my way around the head shape, just making sure that bottom section is connecting to the top layer. So as this grows out, it should grow out really easy and really nicely. So now what I'm going to do after trimming up the sides, connecting to the top section, I'm going to bring that top all the way up, directly up off the scalp, um, and just clean that line up. It's uh, making sure it's clean. You can see here that the hair that falls out is basically my guideline. So as that drops out, I'm going to take that straight across the top. And what that's going to do is create more of a square layer, which is what I'm looking for. So again, you know, as I'm pulling it up, that bottom part that I've already cut is actually dropping out of my, out of my fingers. So that becomes my guideline. Now as I said in the last video, the, the textured haircuts are sort of fading out a bit, I believe they are anyway. So we're going to give this more of a straight line. So by pulling it up and just taking those ends off, got to make sure my shoulder placement and my hand placement is correct. 
but we're gonna get a nice clean section with a nice clean end result. So we're gonna get rid of a lot of the texture and just keep it nice so when she grows it out, it will actually grow out into a shape. So after drying it and having a look at the end result, I absolutely love this toner. I think it turned out really well. We got a lot of blonde in there and you can see here it's really bright. The 10BV toner I really like. It took out some of the brassiness that was in there, but left it healthy and shiny. I love the haircut and the idea that it is going to grow out into another shape. So the idea is to get it longer, but keep that blonde in there. So if you've made it all the way to the end, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like my content, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell notification so you know when I upload.